Hello everyone, I'm Crumbs, welcome back to Starfield and uh, we are just landing at New Atlantis. We uh, explored a research lab at Crete last uh, episode and then we left and flew here. So what do we have here? Well, looks like a big city. Technician, should we talk to you? And here's our new captain. My crew can take a look at your ship. And you can stop by the trade authority kiosk if you need to offload some cargo. Okay. Do we need repairs? Maybe we do. I'd like to view modify my ship. Let's see what ships you have for sale. Where did you say I could sell things? The Trade Authority runs a vending kiosk next to my booth. It's just off to the side, near the ramp. Besides that, Jemison Mercantile is your closest shop if you're looking for a bit of everything. That's further in, past the security checkpoint. Alright. Uh, let's see what ship you have for sale. I'm sure you can find something you like. I don't think we can afford anything. Let's see. Vendor credits, 72,000. Hour is 2,600. Uh, okay, this ship cost... 57,000. So this is a Rambler. This is a Galileo. Cost 130,000. So I guess there is a whole bunch of different types of ship. Merchant ship, assault ship, battleships and so on. Yeah, uh, we can't afford this anyway. So don't waste time there. Uh, do we need to repair? I don't think so. Let's save our money for now. Here. I'll be at my booth if you need me. Yeah, uh, is it this booth he meant? The trade authorities kiosk, yeah. So I guess we could. Like, do we have anything that we don't? Rescue axe could be good, melee weapon, right? Like, what is? Do we have a real crappy? This one we have, Mailstorm. So we, I don't, and then we have two of these. So. Sell from ship inventory. So is it okay? I just click on it. Rattler. This sounds crappy, but we we have sixty six bullets to it. We have three rescue axe axes. So let's send sell two. We got five Grendels. I don't think we need five, right? Select. Uh... We will sell four. Okay, Equinox. Okay, Grendel and Modified Grendel. Why is it the unmodified is... Yeah, let's sell, uh, let's sell this one. And we keep that. We have two Eons. Let's sell one. Okay, so probably the Eon and Modified Grendel is using the same, so let's do that. And we keep the Rattler. All right. Do we have anything else? Ammo we don't want to sell, I guess. Spacesuits, we have two. Deep Mining Suit and Pirate Assault Spacesuit. Do we need this? I don't think we want this anyway, right? So let's sell that. Got a pack, I think we need that one. Helmets, pirates, assault helmets, let's sell that. And then we have some apparel, aid. Yeah, let's keep that for now. And we, we can see that we can carry, we are carrying 71 out of 135. Yeah, and these, these aren't val value anything. All right. So where are we heading? I see a blue thing on uh, the minimap. Can we actually see what we have here? Missions. One small step. Go to the lodge in the mas master district. I guess uh, we're going there. Oh, we are already there. So let's go back out. To here we are. Will not go 
Arrivals, proceed to security. So where is the security? Is it over here? I guess this is the security checkpoint. So we pass the security. Okay. No bounty. You're clear. Okay. Enjoy Thank you very visit. much. Yeah, it's big. It looks great. Style among the stars, a universe of leisure. There's another kiosk. New Atlantis information. Welcome to the city of New Atlantis, capital of United Colonies. The solar system as a whole. We stand now in the most technology advanced city the human race has ever conceived and constructed. It was founded 2156. First arrived at the Alpha Cantari star system. You stroll the street and take the NAT train to see different districts, okay. Well, I guess we're... Uh, this is New Atlantis Transit, or the NAT. Going here, and we're going to the mass. It provides free transportation throughout the city. We can take it directly to the mast. Vasco is following us. Where are we going? Uh, I guess we're heading over there. The water is quite aesthetically pleasing. Or so Barrett has told me. New Atlantis relies on advanced hydroelectrics for most of its power. Sergeant Yumi is looking for a reliable people to help the guard. Contact him if you're interested. I'll appreciate it. Okay. Sounds like a side mission. I'm not sure I'm going the right way. Looks like we're going further away from it. Let's see if we can get to it here. Reliant Medical. Yeah, I'm I'm impressed. This looks great. Is that your ship that landed not too long ago? We may be in a United Colonies city, but Constellation is an entirely neutral entity and always has been. The Lodge. Here we are, the Lodge. The front door should unlock if you hold up the watch that Barrett gave you. I have messaged the other members of Constellation. They will be waiting for us inside. Enter Captain, the library. everyone will be in the library, just inside. If Barrett were here, he'd probably tell you that you're part of something bigger now. And he hopes you'll make this place your home. Oh, is it our house? All the phenomena we see out in the stars, and what I'm saying is the most impossible theory. We appear to have a visitor. Welcome to Constellation. We have a lot to talk about. Would you care to tell us what happened to our friend? Why you're here and he isn't? Um, yeah, why not? Pirate, pirates attacked. Barrett asked me to deliver the artifact. I see. Vasco, verify. <gasps> All statements made have been factual. Uh, this is just typical. Barrett hands over our ship and our robot to some random employee of that discount mining outfit he uses. Walter. And if we hadn't insisted on installing those emergency protocols, I guarantee you this rock breaker here would be halfway to Neon. 
But that didn't happen. He's here with the artifact. Thank you, Matteo. Now, let's focus on what's in front of us, shall we? What happened when it was extracted? Did anyone see anything? Hear anything? Um... It was bright lights and music. Interesting. Similar to Barrett's description of the experience, with less embellishment. Are you hearing this? Do you all believe me now? Whether it happened or not wasn't in doubt. But honestly, Kanji, you expect us to believe in fairy. If this is the greatest mystery in the universe, why couldn't it be part of the ultimate mystery? But gentlemen, can we please focus? Noel, I think it's time we tested your theory. Right. Let's see. We know the artifacts react to each other. The pieces we already have move when they're in close contact. Now, if we add this new one to the two we already have... The artifact. If you could place it on the table here. All right. That's it. Just like the others. And to imagine, we thought there were only two of them at first. Oh my god, that's it. They're reacting. Look at how it's coming together. That energy that's arcing between them, no manufactured material in the subtle systems can do that. None of them. This proves... Easy, girl. Breathe. You'll have a heart attack. She's not the only one. If they're coming together, that means there's a set. Built by an intelligence outside the settled systems. Still 2,000 credits for our little wager, Godfrey? You're on, Walter. Well, if we had all the answers, it wouldn't be exciting, now would it? Not to take away from the moment, but what are we going to do about our new friend here? <laughs> so, are you ready to get to work? See if exploration is the life you want to lead in this little universe of ours? Um... Uh, how much do you know about the artifacts? What are they? Individually, they're just odd hunks of metal. Another oddity from the uncharted reaches of space. As to what they are, what they're building. Well, you'll be part of solving that puzzle now. Alright. Um, you want me in Constellation, what does that mean? We're all here because we're committed to exploring space. Humanity may have settled the stars, but that doesn't mean we should stop diving into the unknown. Beyond that, you'll be expected to use your own judgment, just like the rest of us. Uh, alright. You should take some time to get settled in. Introduce yourself to everyone. Some of our members aren't here, but you'll meet them soon. Come find me when you're ready. You and I are going to be doing some traveling together. Get your feet wet. And here. I think you've earned something for bringing the artifact to us. In addition to credits, why don't we set you up with a backpack with some boost capability? Hmm? You'll need it out in the field anyway. Just mind your head. 8,000 credits. Lodge key. We're all here for the same reason. I've occasionally had my doubts about Constellation as an investment, but now, well, it's clearly money well spent. First of all, I know that there is a, a quick menu we can set up that I haven't used yet. If I click the Q button, let's select weapons to place there, and I think Okay, so it's the favorite. So if I click favorite, I want that on one. We can have. I don't know. Yeah, Equinox. Let's hit B and we have that on number two. This one on number three. Well, why not? Maybe we should have a melee weapon actually. Uh, on, on number two here, so we can just find that button quickly. 
we will have you on three and this one on four. And Rattler on five. Okay, I'm satisfied with that. Do we have any uh, grenades or something? I think we found some of that. Is it mis I thought we found some mines or something. Maybe we didn't. Here is ammo. Why are we having this? <laughs> yeah, let's drop this one. Maybe we can sell it. We definitely need that. We definitely don't need that one. Argus Extractor Jumpsuit. Yeah, well, whatever. We have set up quick weapons selection in a way, so that's good. Let's just have a quick look around the lodge. So we got a key to the lodge, so I guess we We've always considered ourselves explorers. can access it whenever we want. I hope you are satisfied with the quarters available to you. Well, I, I hope so. Whoa, what's this? <laughs> Look at that. Weapons workbench, spacesuit workbench, industrial workbench, pharmaceutical cooking station. Man, this is big. Unlock. We need master. There's a master lock. The well? Well, okay, <laughs> well, let's uh, not proceed too far away. Let's uh, try and follow the main quest here. So uh, let's have a look through the basement and then we go upstairs and talk to Sarah. We have a toilet. We got a <laughs> gaming area, maybe? No, probably not. Got a hammer, ranch. Got a bed. Is it? Is it okay? That is. It said owned. So someone is living here. The question is: Is it us or someone else? Then we had a floor up here. Okay, it's a way out. Oh. A little garden hangout area where we can sit and relax. A bedroom credit stick is it ours yeah let's grab all of them cocktail glass no we don't need that Sebastian Banks speech about the importance of continuous space exploration the cosmos is infinite. Infinite. Uh, yeah. No. Let's uh, not do that. So is there was another door? Okay. So here is a corridor, and I guess this is a lot of bedrooms. And 
other things. I wonder which is ours. Oh. Yeah, sleep owned. There's out there. We have another one here, and I guess. Holy crap, this is big. This cannot be opened. Notepad. Oh, I took it. I want to read it. Oh, okay. That's a nice ship. Is it ours? Could be. Conference room. And I guess we're coming back out here. Yes. Oh, a bar. Holy, this. I could live here. For sure. All right, let's uh, go down and talk to uh, I am at your service, Captain. Sarah, was it? Hey, so, are you ready to get to work? Or was there something else? Um, how well known is Constellation? I don't know what you've heard, but I can imagine. First of all, I think you can dismiss any stories about us no longer existing. Hmm? I don't believe in smearing our name everywhere we can. Exploring the universe, charting the unknown, that's what counts. Besides, having a little mystery gives us room to maneuver. A fixed reputation could fence us in a lot of ways. Alright, uh, I'm ready. We're going to be doing some old-fashioned detective work. The artifacts are relatively inert once they're out of bedrock. That means people can pass them around, not even knowing what they are. I've been letting my contacts know to be on the lookout for strange metal objects. Get back a lot of noise, usually. But a tip from the UC Vanguard sounds promising. Hmm. Yeah, good. A chance to learn more about the United Colonies. Jumping to anthropology on me already. Oh, well, good. We all need our own reasons to be out there. But it's not just that. I want to take this opportunity to see how you handle yourself and for you to learn more about us. I'm going to be sticking with you for this. We'll be traveling together until we either find an artifact or this lead runs dry. All right. Um, got it. You and me until we get that artifact. We'll need to head to Mast. Check in with the Vanguard recruiting office where my contact works. And listen, whatever you were before, or whatever you do once you're out there, I don't care. So long as you don't bring UC security to our doorstep. Every member of Constellation is their own conscience. Understood? Mm. What do you mean? You don't care if I steal as long as I don't get caught? I mean, Constellation has a roster of members who haven't always been on the right side of their respective society. We're risk takers. Some of us have seen the inside of a jail cell more than once. If you join us, it means you're committed to our mission. In exchange, we give you latitude in your choice of means. All right, understood. Good. Let's take a little stroll through New Atlantis, shall we? All right, where are we going? Should I follow you? No. As much as I love uncovering new questions, I wouldn't mind if we continue. Okay, we're heading that way. Should we go around here? Should we go just straight on it? Let's try this way. Yeah, we need to keep a sky and look on that scale to the, the left there. Brownouts all the time. 
Mast finally sent someone down there, but nothing's changed. Submission active. So I guess this is the active one, or talk to Sarah's contact. That is the one we should go. Yeah. Sarah is following. Sarah, uh, another space explorer. Hey, you ever think of joining up with the Vanguard? Help the United Colonies, earn some credits, even get your UC citizenship? Hmm. I would love to join you right now. Maybe later. We have Constellation business to discuss first. All right, all right. Can't blame me for trying, right? I mean, I still haven't given up on getting Sarah to re-enlist. It's a game we play. He asks. I say no. Here's what I got for you two. Vanguard volunteer by the name of Moera. Helps patrol the old neighborhood. Sol, Mars, Neptune, you know. The Sol system? Which Admiral did he upset to get that posting? He's Martian, born and raised. Not like I can get anyone else to care. Word is he's got some fancy metal ornament he's been showing off to the old grounders. Matches that description Sarah gave me. All right. Who is who? Who's this more? Oh, he goes way back. I think he was recruit number eighty-one or something. Wait, what's wrong with his soul system? You kidding? Lowest posting request rate in the whole fleet. Only thing there the UC cares about is Mars, and no one wants to go to Mars. They want to get off Mars. All right. Uh, let's go with this one. Hey. Vanguards risk their lives every day to keep people safe. So what if he doesn't understand whatever this fancy thing of yours is? Easy there, John. We all have our sore points. Everyone agrees we need to talk to your Vanguard about what he found. Let's leave it at that. All right. I'll let it slide. No good for the recruiting office to be seen arguing with the civs anyway. Soul system is a lot of planets, but a vet like Moera will be checking in at Sidonia on the regular. You mean hitting the bars, don't you, John? Hey, nothing wrong with a little refresh between patrols. All right, we're off to Sidonia then. I'm serious about that recruitment offer, by the way. You just come talk to me when you're ready. You see, is a good friend to have. All right, so we're heading down there. How can we get there? Is it, uh... Oh. Okay. I'm running late for the meeting. Is there an elevator or something? Up here? Keep your nose clean. Probably. Yeah. No? Uh, Nat Station? Orientation Hall? It's not. It's the Nat Station. It, well, maybe that was where we were, right? I'm just gonna find... No? Okay. I went one floor too far. So, are we heading back to... One day, our I'm ship, maybe? Spaceport. So I'd love to explore a little bit more, but maybe we sh can do that next turn. Okay, weather has changed. Let's go this way and just have a little look what's over here. Terra Brew coffee. Selling art is a bit of an art itself. All right. 
the viewport. This looks like a bar. Can we do anything Hope here? Hope life is treating you well. Let me know if I can get you anything. Hey there. Always nice to see a new face. First time in New Atlantis? Um, actually, I grew up in New Atlantis. <laughs> oh, yeah? And yet here we are, only just meeting for the first time. Tell you what, as a hometown boy, I'll give you one on the house. Oh, thank Let you very much. Let me know if there's anything I can get you. Um, heard any good rumors lately? Hmm. Bit of a slow news day around here. Ah, well, speaking of news, some folks are convinced David Barron, you know, the SSN anchor, is some sort of free star sympathizer. Ridiculous, if you ask me. Sure, they ran a couple of stories about Aquila City that weren't totally critical, but come on. Have you ever been? It's really not that bad. Anyway, that's the sort of high-stakes stuff people talk up while waiting on a flight. So glad you asked, aren't you? I can tell. All right. Business seemed to be booming for you. Yep. Spaceport traffic keeps me pretty busy. But just between you and me... I've got something in the works that'll change everything. <laughs> a new drink. A new drink that'll make this place famous. Galaxy-wide. Uh, well, I have to give this a try. You would love it, I guarantee. Only, I can't make you one right now. Don't have the ingredients. I made a deal with the hauler to bring me some small samples of an ingredient I think will make all the difference. But it never showed up. Turns out the guy I hired was also hired by a few other folks. The kind of folks who ship less than legal cargo. Security got wind, and the whole lot was impounded. Now they're just sitting on it, taking their sweet time like they always do. It's killing me. All right. Uh, you should go and talk to security, see if we can get what's yours. I submitted all the paperwork, believe me. It won't amount to anything. But I did it. And really, I'm not even certain this is what I need to finish the recipe. I just... I think it is. I need to get my hands on that cargo. It sounds like you need a helping hand. I really do. It's gonna keep me awake nights if I don't try. Before we say anything else, I am in no way asking you to do anything that might violate any of the many, many laws in place here in New Atlantis or the larger United Colonies. This is just one friend talking to another friend, asking if maybe that friend could possibly find a way to get her important cargo out of the impound. And if, hypothetically, that were done in a less than 100% legal way, well, that might not be the worst thing in the world. You, uh, with me on this? I'm here for you. I do whatever I can. God, you have no idea what a relief this is. I'm obviously not expecting you or anyone to go in guns blazing and taking hostages or something. I just figure there has to be a way to get what I need. Okay, don't worry. I'll figure something out. I'm not worried. I'm annoyed. Wait, are you saying I should be worried? No, of course not. It'll be fine. Totally fine. I, I trust you. Yeah. Uh, let's uh, head Catch out Catch you here. later. We'll see if we can help her. Good to see you. But we won't do that right away. So I guess we're heading to our ship. Are you following me, Sarah? Where is Sarah? Have we lost her? She's already at the ship, maybe. Security scanners, chemical sniffers. Hmm. United Colonies sure isn't taking any chances. No, there she is. So, where are we heading? Let's go to, yeah, mission. We are, yeah, we're heading this way. Are we gonna set a course to Seoul? In Sidonia, yeah. That is good. Let's head back up and into the ship.
All right, let's get this crate into space. Take off. This way and I think we will do that and continue this trip in the next episode because it's time to end here thank you very much for watching see you next time bye bye